Hello everyone, my name is Smithy and welcome back to another Shattered Relics video. Today we're going to be going through another plugin that has just been added uh, that is for saving your fragments, kind of like a loadout, um, if you will. So the the uh, so the so plugin is called, hold on, let me open this up, it is called Fragment, uh, whatever that says, Fragment, th th Fragment. <laughs> It's called Fragment Fragment Presets. There you go. It wasn't doing the hover over. So you need to install that in the plugin hub, and you can do that by coming over to the little spanner on RuneLight, clicking the plugin hub, typing in Fragment, and uh, it will come up. And then if we type in here Fragment Presets, you need to turn it on as well within your RuneLight. It should turn on by default, but if not, that's how you turn it on. So let's head back over into the uh, actual game. And if we come over to Fragments... You can see here that we now have this presets uh, tab on the left hand side. So I've currently saved this mining setup that I've got here that is uh, Chef's Catch, Slash and Burn, Molten Miner, Al uh, Alchemaniac and CD Business, which gives me the Giri Gatherer and also the Personal Banker set effects. So say, for example, I switched out uh, that one there and I wanted to select my mining one again. So this is a preset that I've already done. I've already saved the uh, relics, or the, sorry, the fragments that I use for the mining setup that I go with. And you can see here that it's highlighted. Chef's Catch is the one that is missing from the current ones that are set. You can see here with the little green tabs, it's highlighted in green that I've already got those ones selected. So now if I drop in Chef's Catch, you can see now it's all green and that set is now in play. Now, if I wanted to create a new set, I can say, for example, I wanted some... Lovely, uh, what's it called? Trailblazer in there. Hide my filters. And I wanted to do Unholy Warrior because that's got the set effect of Greedy Gather. Oh, no, sorry. It's not. <laughs> Tell a lie. It's got the uh, Trailblazer one. It's got, uh, and, and then we want to put on Bottomless Quiver. We wanted to put on RK Conduit. And we're like, okay, well, that now gives us Nice Edge, Personal Banker, and Trailblazer. I want to save that as a new one. So what we do is we click Save Preset. You type in, I'm going to call it just Test. And then if we select it, we can see that we've now got that preset. Now, if I switch to the mining one, you can see it's doing the same thing again. If I clear my filters, you can see where it's highlighting which ones I've already got in place and what ones I need to um, add in as well. The blue being ones I need to add in, the green being the ones that are all good to go. So now if I select test, you can see we're all good. We're all good. Now if I wanted to delete that preset, simple as that, delete it. There you go. So if you want to test out different fragments being switched in and out and check out their abilities and then save them, or if you, uh, you, know, you know, say if you've got too many and you're like, I don't really use this one anymore, it's just looking a bit messy, you can go through and delete it. But um, yeah, that's really all there is to it. Um, it's a real nice little thing that, uh, I can't remember the actual person's name who's made it. It was a load of numbers. Um, but yeah, a big shout out to them for, uh, you'll see it when you download it. You'll know what I mean. A big shout out, out, shout out to them for uh, putting this together. It's pretty mad that this wasn't actually, a, you know, an already built in thing. Um, I guess it will be a little bit too overpowered, but hey ho, we've got some smart people in the community. Um, oh look, it's even flicking through for me to put make that number one on the list of what one needs to add in. There's some smart smart people in the uh, in the old community, um, and uh, we appreciate their hard work for giving us little things like this to make our lives a bit better. But uh, yeah, I hope you guys have found this video useful. I just thought I'd make a quick video because I know I made um, one on some RuneLight plugins the other day. So if you haven't seen that video, go and check it out. There's a few other plugins that I found to be pretty useful that are mainly centered around um, Shattered Relics. Not really for main game, but uh, I have done a video on main game uh, plugins as well that are useful. So uh, maybe that tickles your fancy too. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling, let you guys go. Stay safe. Hope you're enjoying Shattered Relics. If you haven't done so already, check out my progression series. Um, been going through my whole journey through uh, Shattered Relics and what tasks we're getting ticked off and that. But um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that bollocks. Goodbye. <laughs>